Indian Air Force plans to induct 450 fighter aircrafts in 10 years. In the next decade, the most important attraction of Indian Air Force will be advanced medium combat aircraft. Therefore, IAF has designed a grant plan to induct 400 multi-purpose war transport aircrafts within 10 years. IAF is also gearing up to sign contracts to buy 83 Tejas MK-1A aircrafts from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and 12 Sukhoi 30 MKI aircrafts from Russia. In addition to this, more orders would be placed for MiG-29 fighter jets from Russia. Within the next five years, 83 Tejas MK-1A aircrafts would be procured. IAF will soon ratify an agreement with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to procure the aircrafts. American-made GE-414 engine will be fitted in these aircrafts. IAF has also proposed HAL to manufacture two-seater variant of Tejas. These aircrafts will replace the aging MiG-21 Bison fighter jets from IAF's fleets. The fourth generation Tejas fighter aircraft can be upgraded in future to accommodate the latest technology and weapons. It will have facilities like mid-air refueling and active electronic scan radar, electronics war suits and capacity to carry different types of weapons and bombs. Chief of IAF, Air Chief Marshal RKS Padoria, on the 89th anniversary of the force has said that IAF has laid down blueprint of a grand plan for the modernization of its fleets and for indigenization efforts. All air warriors for the quick response in the recent standoff on our northern frontiers. When we deployed our combat assets at short notice to handle any eventuality and provided proactive support to all the requirements of deployment and sustenance for the Indian Army. We have clearly demonstrated our resolve, our operational capability and the will to effectively engage the adversary should the need arise. The emerging security scenario mandates a greater need to have a strong air force to fight across domains, against, uh, across the entire spectrum of the warfare. Our vision for this decade is to continue to comprehensively scale up our combat capability and be a force to reckon with across the entire sphere of influence. Through careful force structuring, modernization, operational training and acquisition of indigenous equipment to achieve substantial self-reliance. On behalf of all air warriors, I would like to assure the nation that the Indian Air Force will evolve and be ever ready to safeguard our nation's sovereignty and interests in all circumstances. The IF is undergoing a transformational change. We are entering an era which will redefine the way we employ aerospace power and conduct integrated multi-domain operations. I feel greatly honored to command this elite force with extremely committed and determined air warriors who continue to strive for excellence in every mission. On behalf of these men and women in blue, I acknowledge with gratitude the invaluable contributions of our esteemed veterans who handed down a legacy built on valor, sacrifice and pioneering spirit. I also pay homage to our fallen braves who made the supreme sacrifice in the line of duty. Today, we again renew our pledge to preserve the rich legacy and pass it on to the generations ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, this year has indeed been an unprecedented one. As the novel coronavirus spread rapidly across the globe, our nation's response was firm, and IF on its part instituted various proactive measures to counter the spread and minimize the disruption in our functioning. The tenacity and resolve of our air warriors ensured that the IF
continue to retain its capability and capacity to undertake full-scale operations throughout this period. About 450 various kinds of Made in India fighter jets will be inducted into the fleet within the next 15 years. Our aim is to create 39 squadrons by the end of this decade, Padoria said. The immediate priority of IAF is to induct the 83 Tejas LCA MK1A aircraft. These will be inducted to the fleet in the next five years. In June, the Defence Acquisition Council, headed by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, had put its approval on the IAF's wish list of 12 Sukhoi 30 MKI aircraft from Russia, 21 MiG-29, and the upgradation of existing 59 MiG-29 aircraft. The approval given would further help in taking up the numbers of IAF's dwindling fighter squadrons. As per media reports in July this year, the MiG-29, the upgrade of existing MiG-29, which are already in service, are going to cost around Rs. 7,418 crore. And the plans to buy new Sukhoi 30 MKI would require Rs. 10,730 crore. The procurement of the MiG-29 fighters and the Sukhoi 30 MKI has been under consideration for almost two years and the decision to sign the deal for these aircraft has been taken on a priority basis in view of the ongoing tensions between India and China along the line of actual control in Eastern Ladakh. News Desk, Kaumadi English